Did you say with Chrome OS and Citrix, Citrix Workspace, no ransomware has been reported? That's correct. Zero reported ransomware ever. Let's find out how. Where people meet tech and tech meets people. Between the clouds. Richard Ashe, welcome. I'm very happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, let's not start off with a lie already. Come on. <laughs> it's somebody's behind you forcing you to do this. And that's okay. That's the way I got married, and that's the way the interview goes. <laughs> What's going on with Chrome OS these days? So as you know, we've been working with Citrix in this space all the way back in 2011. Uh, Citrix was the first enterprise app on a Chrome device. With work from home, this really, really took off in healthcare. It actually not only enabled them to continue their operations remotely, it also opened up new, new use cases and it's pretty exciting what we're seeing. As a clinician, I want to have all my medical apps, my workspaces, my Epic, my Cerner, all my access to patient medical records. I get a new Chromebook. What's that setup look like? Well, that's the good news. A lot of our customers, as you know, and are already using Citrix in healthcare in particular. Mm -hmm. And so when we go to talk to a customer who's interested in the potential to use Chromebooks, they're typically deploying Chromebooks with Citrix and effectively pre-installed in the sense that the way you manage Chromebooks is you have a, a management console um, and that yep. is also integrated with Citrix endpoint management. You set up all your policies, all your apps to de be deployed and then those policies automatically get pushed to the device after they enroll it. And so when you think about the experience, no matter what the use case is, the doctor, the nurse, the staff, they'll get their Chrome device, open it up, and they'll have all their apps there. The data itself and the apps and everything don't actually, and correct me if I'm wrong, they don't actually reside on the Chromebook. So if it is That's right. lost in the wild, so to speak, I'm, my risk factor is is not what it used to be. That's exactly right. And, and actually, you're seeing this in highly regulated industries, not just healthcare, but financial services is another great example. Um, in some cases, IT had a policy where you simply could not have a device outside of the physical building. You cannot leave right. work and work from home uh, at all. They just simply could not trust the device if it got out in the wild. Users are going to lose their device. They're going to leave it in the seat back of a plane. They're going to forget it, forget it in a coffee shop. And if that is a yep. more sort of traditional or legacy laptop, that is a huge risk. And mm -hmm. so with Chrome devices, that is not an issue at all. So they simply just swap out the Chrome device and the one that was lost, they decommission it with a couple clicks. The device still matters though. And I think we saw that last year while work from home gained a lot of press in terms of like how that changed the way people work. It didn't get rid of the security issues that most people face right. with traditional devices. So ransomware attacks skyrocketed in 2020 over 150% according to Harvard Business Review. Chromebooks have never had a ransomware attack. Those ransomware attacks are happening everywhere else and they're extremely costly. It's on average uh, 750K per attack. Did you say no ransomware attacks on a Chromebook? That's correct. That's Zero amazing. reported ransomware attacks ever. You combine that with Citrix, right? And they've, they've already trust Citrix as their virtualization solution for years and years and years with Chrome. And, and now with Citrix, of course, it's not just about virtual apps and desktops. It's also about SaaS applications as well. Um, one thing we're starting to see is the adoption of secure internet access, which is a uh, you know, a new product. It's actually a bunch of products that customers are familiar with, um, with some new capabilities, and that runs great on Chrome. So that that really covers. Yep. That helps cover all your apps with the same sort of security and trust that you have had in Citrix for a very long time. Combined with Chrome, it's never had a ransomware attack, and it's just really easy to use, really easy to deploy. Um, you really have a solution that really hasn't existed until now. And Richard, I'm going to catch you off guard here. Actually, one of those infamous questions out of left field for you. Okay. So we're going to create the Wayback Machine. Uh, go in the Wayback Machine. Go to 12-year-old Richard Ashe. What did he want to be? Did he want to be the Chrome OS partner ecosystem lead or did he have other? 
<laughs> uh, at that time, I was uh, still figuring out whether I was going to be a professional baseball player. And I basically, within about 18 months or so, I realized that that was not where I was going to go. Um, I was gotcha. either going to be that or obviously G.I. Joe. Um, they didn't recruit yeah. me. That was never a thing. So, but unfortunately, Google was founded and, you know, I found my path. So. All right, Richard. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.